Alright, so welcome to part 2 of my tutorial. Now you would have just finished a step of temporarily rooting your phone. So now that you it's temporarily rooted on through Visionary, you want to go to the Android market and then search for an application called Terminal Emulator. And then I just installed the Android Termi Terminal Emulator. You can pick whatever one you want to install, but that's just the one I chose. So we're going to open that and you'll see this blue screen and you'll know that you're in the terminal emulator. So in it, we want to type in SU through the keyboard. Here we go. And then press enter. In order to get super user permissions, if this is your first time entering the command, then you'll see this pop up that's going to ask you for if you want to allow super user permissions or not. You just want to say yes. So after that's done, we can type in cd space forward slash data forward slash local. And then we can hit enter. And then type in chmod space 777 space G free and then press enter and then if you get an error that means that the file wasn't transferred to your phone from before when we um, said ADB push to G free onto the device so if it's not on there then you want to go backtrack and do that step but if you don't get an error, then we can move on. So then we want to type in period forward slash g free and hit enter again. And then you'll, all this like text will come up and then you want to wait until the process is done. And you'll see that, let me see if I can focus in you'll see that the process is done okay and then XDA says that you can reboot into HBoot to make sure if the process worked or not but pretty much if you followed all the steps and if you didn't get any errors then you would have already rooted your device and would have been unlocked so as we can move on to step 12 of this tutorial,